Today we're gonna make this awesome feather headband. It's super stylish and it's really great for like an older girl or a woman or a teenager and it's such a last minute gift you can make. It takes about five, 10 minutes tops and usually they sell for a pretty high retail price in the stores, but why do that when you can just make it yourself? So soon we're gonna offer this double-sided tape and trust me, it's gonna be your best friend. So what you're gonna to do to get it started to make it a little bit more easy to use is you're gonna take this red plaid design off first. So you're just gonna unroll it until that doesn't show anymore. And this is where the sticky stuff starts to show. So you're gonna unroll it about almost a half a yard. What you're gonna do is you're gonna press down on it so the tape, the sticky stuff comes off. So you just use a scratch piece of paper, whatever you want. You're going to kind of unstick it, but don't cut the paper. Now that the sticky stuff is off, you're going to go ahead and trim where the red plaid is. Just toss that to the side. And now that that side is smooth and there's no sticky stuff on it, you'll just roll it back onto itself. That way, when you go to use the tape and you unroll it, you're not rolling that sticky stuff onto you. You can put the sticky side down, and take it off. So with that said, we're gonna get this party started. So the first thing you do, you're just gonna get a quarter inch metal headband. These are really great, they're really light, you can barely even feel that it's in your head and it's gonna blend really nicely into the hair so you don't see a big huge headband sticking out. You're gonna see the feathers instead. So let's go ahead and put that to the side. Now, a lot of people like to blend the satin that you use for the headband to the color of the hair. Or you can just make it stand out, you can make it match the feathers. I like to make it blend so it looks like it's not even there. So I'm going to use some black satin since I have black hair. Now, to line one of our quarter inch metal headbands, you're just going to need to cut 15 inches exactly of satin ribbon. So go ahead and measure that out. Snip it. All you need is 15 inches. So now you're going to go ahead and get your double-sided tape. So now what you're going to do is you're going to unroll your tape and you can feel the sticky side right here. You're just going to want to do a little bit at a time. That way you can get it right in the middle there, like a line going down the road. So just kind of unroll it and you can follow it with your finger. You're going to want to get it right down the middle there. So I think it works best if you just do a little bit at a time because it's hard to get it straight sometimes. When you come to the edge, just go ahead and give it a cut. Okay. So now you have your satin ribbon. What you're going to do is you're going to flip it over and once you unpeel that tape, it's gonna sh it almost looks like nothing's even there. You're gonna think, well, is this gonna stick? It's very light, and if you kind of tap it, you're gonna feel where that sticky side is, and it's gonna stick to the headband wonderfully. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take your metal headband, starting from the inside part right here. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. So go ahead and press down. You're just gonna wrap it all the way around. And the great thing about this is, it's not hot glue. So when you use that hot glue, you want to press down on things and make sure it stays and it's nice and smooth, but inevitably you're going to burn your fingers in the process. So with this, it's going to give you a nice smooth finish. You can press down on it as much as you want. You can take your time and it's great for kids that want to do crafting too because then they're not going to burn themselves or get scared. So you're just going to follow the headband all the way around, slowly unpeeling and pressing. Kind of lift it up if you need. And you're going to come all the way around. So once you have this lined, what you're going to do for the next part is you're going to make little end coverings on this one. So all you're going to do is go ahead and get your satin ribbon. So you're going to cut out two one inch pieces and that's all you need, just an inch. Go ahead and measure it from the other piece. Give it a snip. OK, 
Okay, so with these two pieces, you're going to go ahead and line these again as well. Let's just go ahead and put that tape down. And you can just snip it at the ends so it's nice and even. And pull that tape back. Then at the end right here, you're just going to go ahead and put that in the center and go ahead and tuck it around on both sides. Now if there's a little bit of excess, all you're going to do is just give it a trim. So go ahead and do that to the other side. Put your tape down. A snip. Unpeel and stick it around. Okay. So now that your metal headband's lined, this comes the fun part. You're going to go ahead and get some peacock feathers or whatever kind of feathers you want to use. Now what we're doing with these is we're going to use the eye of the peacock feather, which I think is obviously the most pretty part. So you're going to go ahead and just snip it at the very end of the eye. And you can use one, two, three, four, however many you want. Just go ahead and design it yourself. We're going to use two today though for the one that I'm wearing. So once we have those, I'm going to take this off to the side. Now, some people like this longer part right here, and some people like it to be just the eye. So you can just kind of trim those excess pieces off however much you want. Just pretend you're giving someone a haircut. So there's one right there. We're going to leave a little bit of these curly end pieces on this one. just to. So we're going to go ahead and trim those. Follow it around. So once we have those, we're going to go ahead and put something to glue it on because gluing feathers can get kind of messy. You know, there's not much space really to put the glue on. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a pad to glue these on so we can glue it onto the headband. Now, you can just go ahead and get some felt at any local craft store. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the felt, fold it in half, and you're just going to make about a two inch mark on this because you just want a little circle that way the feathers can cover it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to measure out about two inches. So right here at the two inch mark you're just going to kind of eye it out and make a little snip. Put the ruler off to the side. Now where that snip is you're just going to kind of do a little small oval circle. So go ahead and find that snip. You're just going to Cut around so it's a nice little oval shape. And there you go. So once you have that, I'm going to take this off to the side and you're going to go ahead and get your feathers. So the easiest way to glue these feathers is just to flip it over. And right here down the middle is going to be the spine of the feather. It's that little hard part. So we just run a little bit of glue starting at the bottom going up that spine. It's going to be the best way to secure the feather to the felt. And go ahead and place this wherever you want and just gently press down. You're going to go ahead and get that next big one. You're just going to kind of see where you want to put it. See, so that's going to pretty much cover the felt. Just flip it on over and glue down that spine. You can kind of put some here at the bottom if you want as well. It's the thickest part of the feather. Flip it on over. Gently press down. So once you have that, what we're going to do is we're going to add an embellishment to the bottom. This just kind of keeps you from seeing any extra glue or the bottom of the feathers and it just gives it a little extra bling. 
makes it look nice and fancy, pretty as a peacock. So what we did is we just went to a local craft store and got a jewelry charm. Now you can use an antique button, you can use a key, you can take apart an old necklace, keychain, whatever you want. So these usually come with a little hole on them, or a little extra something to put the, the necklace on if it's a jewelry charm. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put the scissors through here and kind of bend it off. See, all you have to do is just go like that, the flick of the wrist, and that's gonna come off. Now this little piece right here, we don't really want that either. So usually these are pretty thin. You can just kind of cut it off or bend it off as well. So now that we have that off, we're just gonna place it how we want onto the end. So you can put it lengthwise, you can put it like this, you can put it high up. You can kind of just eye it and do it however you want. I'm gonna go ahead and do it like that. So just flip it over, a little bit of hot glue, pretty soon you'll be styling. So go ahead and press down, and then there you go. So the next thing you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and get your headband and deciding on you know where you want it to show in your hair, you're going to just glue it on. So you can put it at the top, you can put it on the side, and you're going to pick if it's going to be left or right. So we're going to go ahead, I'm going to say we're going to want it right here on the left hand side so it's like the one that I'm wearing. So all you're going to do is just put a little bit of glue right there down the center of the pad. So all you're going to do is just run one straight line. You can kind of spread it out and then just Press it onto the headband. And there you go, all done.